Hi, welcome to this Corp Maths video. In this video, we're going to look at the video solutions to the expand and brackets practice questions. If you need any extra help on expand and brackets, if you go to corpmavs.com forward slash contents and scroll down to video number 13, that's the video tutorial on expand and brackets. Alternatively, you could scan this QR code and it'll bring you directly to that video. Okay, let's get started. So our first question, question number one. Question number one asks us to expand four brackets y plus two, close brackets. So to expand brackets, we just multiply what's inside the brackets by the term outside the brackets. So we're going to multiply both the y and the positive two, or plus two, by four. So four times y would be four y. And then four times two would be eight, so plus eight. So the answer would be four y plus eight. Okay, question number two. So question number two. Question number two asks us to expand two brackets h minus four. So we need to multiply what's in the brackets by two. So two times h is two h. Then we've got minus. And then two times four would be eight. So minus eight. So the answer would be two h minus eight. Okay, question number three. Question number three, we've been asked to expand five brackets 2w plus three. So we need to multiply what's inside the brackets by five. So 5 times 2w would be 10w, because 5 times 2 is 10, and then w, so 10w. Then we've got our plus sign, and then 5 times 3 would be plus 15. So the answer would be 10w plus 15. Okay, let's have a look at our next question, question number 4. So question number 4, we've been asked to expand 3 bracket 2y minus 1, close brackets. So that means we need to multiply what's inside the brackets by 3. So 3 times 2y, or well, 3 times 2 is 6, that'll be 6y minus, and 3 times 1 will be 3. So the answer would be 6y minus 3. Okay, question number 5. So question number 5, we've been asked to expand 5 brackets 2x plus 7, close brackets. So we need to multiply what's inside the brackets by 5. So 5 times 2x, well 5 times 2 is 10, so it'll be 10x plus, and 5 times 7 would be 35. So the answer would be 10x plus 35. Okay, let's have a look at question number 6. So question number 6, we've been asked to expand 3 brackets 10 minus 3y, close brackets. So to expand this bracket, we need to multiply what's inside the brackets by 3. So 3 times 10 would be 30 minus, and 3 times 3y, so 3 times 3, that's 9, so 3 times 3y would be 9y. So the answer would be 30 minus 9y. Okay, question number 7. So question number 7, we've been asked to expand 6 brackets 3 minus 2x, close brackets. So to expand this bracket, we need to multiply what's inside the brackets by 6. So 6 times 3 is going to be 18, so 18 minus. And 6 times 2x, well, 6 times 2 is 12, so 12x. So the answer would be 18 minus 12x. Okay, question number 8. Question number 8, we've been asked to expand 2 bracket 3w minus 5y, close brackets. So we need to multiply what's inside the brackets by 2. So 2 times 3w, well 2 times 3 is 6, so that'll be 6w, because 2 times 3w would be 6w, minus, and then 2 times 5y, well 2 times 5 is 10, so that'll be minus 10y, just putting the y after, 2 times 5 is 10y. So the answer would be 6w minus 10y. Okay, question number 9. So question number 9, we've been asked to expand 4 brackets 2m minus 3p. So we need to multiply what's inside the brackets by 4. 4 times 2m, well 4 times 2 is 8, so 4 times 2m will be 8m, then we've got minus, and then 4 times 3p, well 4 times 3 is 12p, so the answer would be 8m minus 12p. Just multiply the 2m by 4 to get 8m, putting a minus sign down, and then doing 4 times 3p, well 4 times 3 is 12p. Okay, our next question. Okay, question number 10. So question number 10. Question number 10 asks us to multiply out x bracket x plus 3. So to expand this brackets, we need to multiply what's inside the brackets by x. So we're going to do x times x. Well, when we multiply x by itself, that's squaring it, so that's x squared. x times x is x squared. And then we've got our plus sign. Then we're going to do x times 3. Well, in algebra, we would just put them together to get 3x. So that would be plus 3x. So the answer would be x squared plus 3x. Okay, our next question. Our next question, question number 11, we've been asked to expand a bracket a minus 9. So we need to multiply what's inside the brackets by a. Well, a times a would be a squared. Then we've got our minus. And then a times 9, we'll put them together, that'll be 9a. So the answer would be a squared minus 9a. Question number 12. So question number 12 asks us to expand y bracket 3y plus 5. So to expand this bracket, we need to multiply what's inside the brackets by y. 
So y times 3y. Well, y times 3y would be, well, we'd have 3, and then we've got y times y, that's y squared. So y times 3y would be 3y squared. Plus, and then y times 5 would be 5y. So multiplying both these terms by y would give us 3y squared plus 5y. So the answer is 3y squared plus 5y. So question number 13. In question number 13, we've been asked to expand 5y brackets 2y plus 1. So we need to multiply what's inside the brackets by 5y. So 5y times 2y. Well, 5 times 2 is 10, and y times y is y squared, so that would be 10y squared. Then we've got our plus, and then 5y times 1. Well, 5y times 1 would just be 5y. So that would be 10y squared plus 5y. So that's our answer, 10y squared plus 5y. Okay, our next question. Question number 14 asks us to expand 3x brackets 3x minus 2. So we're going to multiply what's inside the brackets by 3x. So 3x times 3x, well, 3 times 3 is 9, and x times x is x squared. So 3x times 3x is 9x squared minus. And then we've got 3x times 2, well, timesing 3x by 2 or doubling 3x would be 6x. Or well, 3 times 2 is 6x, so 6x. So the answer would be 9x squared minus 6x. Okay, question number 15. So question number 15, we've been asked to expand 8x brackets 2x minus 5. So we're going to multiply what's inside the brackets by 8x. So 8x times 2x, well 8 times 2 is 16, and x times x is x squared. Then we've got our minus, and then we're going to do 8x times 5. Well 8 times 5 is 40, so 8x times 5 would be 40x. So the answer is 16x squared minus 40x. Okay, question number 16. This time we've been asked to multiply negative 3 brackets y plus 2. So we need to multiply what's inside the brackets by negative 3. So negative 3 times y, well that'll be negative 3y. Then we've got negative 3 times 2, well negative 3 times 2 would be negative 6, so minus 6. So that would be minus 3y minus 6. So this question was a little bit different because we had negative 3 in front of it rather than a 3 or a 5 or a 7. So we just need to multiply both these terms by negative 3. Negative 3 times y would be negative 3y. And negative 3 times 2 would be negative 6 because a negative times a positive is a negative, so minus 6. That's it. Okay. Okay, question number 17. Question number 17, we've been asked to expand 6x, open brackets, y minus 2, close brackets. So we're going to multiply what's inside the brackets by 6x. So 6x times y, well we just put them together to get 6xy, and we make sure our letters are in alphabetical order, and they are, so 6xy. Then we've got our minus, and then we're going to do 6x times 2. Well 6 times 2 is 12, and then we've got our x. So it's going to be 6xy minus 12x. 6xy minus 12x. Question number 18. Question number 18, we've been asked to expand 9e, open brackets, 2f minus 3, close brackets. So we need to multiply what's inside the brackets by 9e. So we're going to do 9e times 2f. Well, 9 times 2 is 18. And then we've got our letters, e, f, and they're in alphabetical order, so great. Minus. And then we're going to do 9e times 3. Well, 9 times 3 is 27e. So the answer is 18e, f minus 27e. Okay, question number 19. Question number 19, we've been asked to expand negative 2 brackets y minus 4, close brackets. So we need to multiply what's inside the brackets by negative 2. So negative 2 times y, well, it's going to be negative 2y, just putting them together. And then we've got negative 2 times a negative 4, well, a negative times a negative is a positive, so plus, and then 2 times 4 is 8. So the answer would be negative 2y or minus 2y plus 8. Okay, our next question, question number 20. Okay, question number 20, we've been asked to expand and simplify 3 brackets x plus 5, close brackets, plus 2 brackets x plus 1, close brackets. So what we're going to do is we're going to expand each pair of brackets first of all, and then we're going to collect our like terms. So we're going to multiply what's inside the first brackets by 3, so we're going to multiply x by 3, so x times 3 is 3x. And then we're going to do plus, and 3 times 5 is 15. So, so we multiply out our first bracket, we get 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times 5 is 15. Next, we then got our plus, and then we're going to multiply what's inside the brackets by 2. So 2 times x is 2x, and then 2 times 1 is 2, so plus 2. So we've expanded each of our brackets, now we need to collect our like terms. So we've got 3x plus 15 plus 2x plus 2. So we've got our 3x plus 2x. Well, 3x plus 2x is 5x. Then we've got plus 15 plus 2. If we add 15 and add another 2, that'll be the same as adding 17. Or 15 plus 2 is 17, so plus 17. So the answer would be 5x plus 17. So question number 21. 
Question number 21 says expand and simplify 4 brackets x minus 1 close brackets plus 3 brackets 2x plus 5 close brackets. So again, let's expand each bracket. So 4 times what's inside the first bracket. So 4 times x is 4x. Then we've got our minus and 4 times 1 is 4. Then we've got plus. Then we've got our plus and then we're going to multiply what's inside this bracket by 3. So 3 times 2x. Well, 3 times 2 is 6. So 3 times 2x is 6x. And then plus and 3 times 5 is 15. And now adding our like terms or collecting our like terms, 4x plus 6x is 10x. And then we've got minus 4, negative 4 plus 15. Well, if we had negative 4 plus 15, that would be 11. Because adding 4 would bring you to 0. Adding 11 over 11 would bring you to add 11. So it would be plus 11. So the answer would be 10x plus 11. Okay, question number 22. Question number 22, we've been asked to expand y brackets y squared plus 3. So we're going to multiply what's inside the brackets by y. So we're going to start off by doing y times y squared. Well, y times y squared would be y cubed. And the reason is we've got y squared, which is y times y. That's y squared. And then we're times it by another y. So we've got y times y times y, which is y cubed. Then, because we're multiplying both of these terms by y, we've done our y squared times y is y cubed. Then we've got our plus, And then we're going to do 3 times y, but that will be 3y. So that's going to be y cubed plus 3y. And just to explain that again, we're multiplying everything inside the brackets by y. So multiplying y squared by y would give you y cubed. And multiplying 3 by y would give you 3y. Okay, let's have a look at question number 23. Okay, question number 23. And we've been asked to expand 2w and then in brackets 3w squared minus 5. So we're going to multiply what's inside the brackets by 2w. So 2w times 3w squared. Well, 2 times 3 is 6. And then we've got w times w squared. Well, it's w times w times w, which is w cubed. And then, <laughs> w, 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 w cubed. And then we've got minus. And then we're going to do 2w times 5. Well, 2 times 5 is 10w. So the answer would be 6w cubed minus 10 W. Okay, question number 24. So question number 24, we've got to expand y squared and then in brackets 8 minus 2y. So we're going to multiply what's inside the brackets by y squared. 8 times y squared is 8y squared. And then we've got our minus. And then y squared times 2y, well, that's going to be, well, we've got 2. And then we've got y squared times y, that's y times y times y, or y cubed. So the answer would be 8y squared minus 2y cubed. Okay, question number 25. So question number 25, we've been asked to expand 2x squared and then in brackets 7x plus 3. So we need to multiply both of these by 2x squared. So 7x multiplied by 2x squared, well 2 times 7 is 14. And then x squared times x, well that's x times x times x, that's x cubed. Then we've got our plus. And then we've got 2x squared times 3, so 2 times 3 is 6x squared. So the answer would be 14x cubed plus 6x squared. Okay, question number 26. This time we've been asked to expand 4x squared and then in brackets 2x minus 5. So we're going to multiply both of these by 4x squared. So 2x times 4x squared, well, 4 times 2 is 8. And then we've got x squared times x, so that's x times x times x, which is x cubed. Then we've got our minus. Then we've got 4x squared times 5, so 4 times 5 is 20. And then we've got our x squared. So the answer is 8x cubed minus 20x squared. Okay, question number 27. We've been asked to expand a and then in brackets 3a plus 2ac. So we're going to multiply both of these terms by a. So a times 3a, well, that's going to be 3. And then a times a is a squared. Then we've got plus. And then we're going to multiply our 2ac by a. Well, it's going to have a 2. And then we've got a times a is a squared. And then finally, we've got our c. So we just put that next to it. So the answer would be 3a squared plus 2a squared c. So 3a squared plus 2a squared c. So question number 28, we've been asked to expand and simplify 7 and then in brackets x plus 4 plus 5 and then in brackets 3 minus 2x. So let's multiply out each bracket to begin with. So multiplying what's inside the first bracket by 7. So 7 times x is 7x. Then we've got plus and 7 times 4 is 28. Then we're going to do, we've got our second bracket, and we need to multiply what's inside of it by 5. So 5 times 3 would be plus 15. And then we've got 5 times minus 2x. Well, 5 times minus 2x, well, that's going to be a negative, because a positive times a negative is a negative. And then 5 times 2 is 10x. So 5 times minus 2x would be minus 10x.
So let's now collect our like terms. We've got 7x minus 10x. Well, that'll be 7x's take away 10x's will be minus 3x's. And then we're going to add 28 and add another 15. Well, it'll be the same as adding 43 because 28 plus 15 is 43. So the answer would be minus 3x plus 43. You could write the 43 in front and write 43 minus 3x if you wanted to, but either one of those would be correct. Okay, question number 29. So question number 29, we've been asked to simplify 19w minus, and then we've got in brackets, 5 minus 4w. And what that means is it means 19w minus one lot of this. So I'm just going to put a 1 here because we're minusing one lot of this bracket. So to expand this bracket, we need to multiply what's inside the bracket by negative 1. So let's write our 19w down to begin with, and then we're going to multiply what's inside the brackets by negative 1. So we're going to do negative 1 times 5. Well, negative 1 times 5 would be negative 5, so that's going to be minus 5. And then we've got negative 1 times negative 4w. Well, negative times a negative is a positive, and 1 times 4w would be 4w. So whenever we multiply out the bracket, we get 19w minus 5 plus 4w. So let's collect our like terms. We've got 19w plus 4w. Well, 19w's plus another 4w's would be 23w's. And then we've got our minus 5, so we just write then minus 5. So that would be 23w minus 5. And that's it. Okay, question number 30. So question number 30. We've been asked to expand and simplify 2, and then in brackets 7y minus 3x minus 8, and then in brackets, x minus 4y. So let's multiply what's inside the first bracket by 2 to begin with. So 2 times 7y, well, 2 times 7y will be 14y. Then we've got our minus, and 2 times 3x is 6x. So we've expanded our first bracket. Now we've got negative 8. So we need to multiply what's inside this bracket by minus 8. So minus 8 times x, so that'll be minus 8x. And then we've got minus 8 times minus 4y. Well, negative times a negative is a positive, and 8 times 4 is equal to 32, so 8 times 4y would be 32y. So expanding our bracket would give us minus 8x plus 32y. So we've got 14y minus 6x minus 8x plus 32y. So now let's collect our like terms. We've got our 14ys plus 32ys. 14 plus 32 is 46, so that'll be 46y. Now, dealing with our x's, we've got minus 6x minus 8x. Well, if you take away 6 and then you take away another 8, that'll be minus 14. So that'll be minus 14x. So the answer is 46y minus 14x. Okay, and our last question. Okay, in question number 31, we've been asked to expand w to the power of 5, and then in brackets, w to the power of 4 plus 3. So we need to multiply what's inside the brackets by w to the power of 5. So we're going to do w to the power of 5 times w to the power of 4. Now, considering your laws of indices, if we've got the same base, so w to the power of a, and then you multiply that by w to the power of b, what we do is we add the powers. So the answer would be w to the power of a plus b. So for instance, if we had w to the power of 4, and we multiply it by w squared, our answer would be adding the powers would be w to the power of 6. And the reason is w times w times w times w w is w to the power of 4 and then if we times that by w to the power of 2 or w squared it'd be w times w so it'd be w times w times w times w times w times w which would be w to the power of 6 and a quick way to do it is to just add the powers so if we want to do w to the power of 5 times w to the power of 4 that would be w to the power of 9 just adding the powers so we multiply the first term in the bracket by w to the power of 5. So now we just need to multiply the 3 by w to the power of 5. So that'll be plus, and then 3 times w to the power of 5 would be 3w to the power of 5. Just put them together. So the answer would be w to the power of 9 plus 3w to the power of 5. And that's it. So these have been the video solutions to the expanded brackets practice questions on corporate maths. If you need any extra help on expanded brackets, if you go to corporatemaths.com forward slash contents and scroll down to video 13, there's a video tutorial on expanded brackets. Alternatively, you could scan the QR code. I really, really hope you found this video useful. If you have found it useful, please like it. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And thanks so much. Cheers. Bye.